Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a face into the look of a polished marble ancient Roman bust, including the name carved into it. This is an update of a tutorial I did many years ago on a much earlier version of Photoshop. I created this image of a faceless marble bust that we'll use for this project. You can download it from the link in my video's description below the video or in my project files. Open a high resolution close up photo of a face facing directly forward. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The lighting of the face should be preferably above and in front of the face, which is the way the bust template is lighted. The first step is to place the face onto the template. If your move tool isn't active, press V to open it and drag it onto the tab of the template. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Before we resize and position it, reduce its opacity so we can see the template under it. Open your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2019, go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. If you're using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. To reposition it, go inside the Transform's bounding box and move it. Generally, for most faces, the eyes are positioned approximately halfway from the top of the skull to the bottom of the chin. Once it's sized and positioned, press Enter or Return. Increase the opacity back to 100%. Remove the color from the photo by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Next, we'll make a selection around the head. Open your Quick Selection tool and make the radius 10 pixels. Drag your tool over the head, but not the ears. To remove selections outside the head, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the head. The width of any given head may be wider or narrower than the head on the marble bust. We don't want to distort our subject's head, but we can make the head of the bust wider or narrower. There are a few ways to do this, but I think the best way is to use the Puppet Warp tool found in versions CS5 and later. I did an in-depth tutorial on the Puppet Warp tool, so if you want to watch it, Click the card at the upper right or the link in my video's description below. Make the marble bust active. Since we're going to distort it, let's make a copy of it so we always have the original intact. Press Ctrl or Command J. Go to Edit and Puppet Warp. If we check Show Mesh, we can see the mesh that Puppet Warp created. We'll be placing pins on the mesh that we'll use to warp the marble bust. To better see the image under it, let's uncheck Show Mesh. Go to the top of the head and click on it to place an anchor pin. Continue to place pins along the edge of the marble bust at approximately the same locations as mine. Click on this pin and drag it in or out. Continue to click and drag pins to make the marble head and neck fit the width of your subject's head. Then click the check mark at the top. Next, we'll blend the forehead of the marble bust with your subject. Click the layer mask to make it active and open your brush tool. Open your brush picker and pick a soft round brush. We'll adjust its size in a moment, make its hardness 0% and its opacity and flow 100%. To adjust its size, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over the forehead to reveal the marble bust through the layer mask. Feel free to reduce the brush's opacity on areas that you'd like to finesse. Next, we'll smooth out and plasticize our subject's head. Make your subject's head active and press Z to open your zoom tool. Drag the tool across the head to zoom into it. 
To reposition it on your canvas, press and hold the space bar as you drag the image. Open your smudge tool and pick a hard round brush. The size of the brush will depend on how large or small the area of the face will be smudging. The hardness is 100% and make its strength 10%. Adjust the brush's size and drag the tool back and forth over the face in the direction of the contours. To fit the entire document back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command-0. We'll cut our new marble bust from the background and copy it to its own layer so we can continue to finesse our marble bust and ultimately add a shininess to it. First, make a composite snapshot by pressing Alt-Ctrl-Shift-E on Windows or Option-Command-Shift-E on a Mac. Open your Quick Selection tool and drag it over the inside of the bust. Then cut and copy it onto its own layer. Open back your smudge tool and blend the jaw and the neck. Next, we'll carve text into the marble. Open your horizontal type tool. I provided the link to a font called Seder, which has an ancient Roman or Greek look to it. I'll make its size 58 points, but feel free to adjust the amount. Click on your image and type out your text. To adjust the space between the characters, highlight the text and press and hold Alt or Option and the left or right arrow key on your keyboard. To reposition it, Open your Move tool and move it. Reduce its fill to 0%. This makes your text invisible, but it'll retain the visibility of any effects we apply to it. Double-click an empty area of the text layer to open its layer style window and click Bevel and Emboss. Make the direction down. The style is Inner Bevel and the technique is smooth. The depth is 600%, the size is 3 pixels, and soften it 2 pixels. Make the angle 120 degrees, and the altitude 30 degrees. The highlight mode is screen, and its opacity is 75%. The shadow mode is multiply, and its opacity is also 75%. Make your text into a smart object so we can add a blur to it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make its radius 0.5 pixels. We'll make a smart object of the bust with the text so we can add a shininess to the entire statue. Shift-click the bust to make it active as well and convert them into one smart object. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Plastic Wrap. Make the Highlight Strength 7 the Detail 10, and the Smoothness 15. I'd like to reduce the shininess a bit over the text and the base, so I'll make the Smart Filter Layer Mask active and press B to open my Brush Tool. I'll reduce the opacity to 30%, enlarge my brush, and brush across that area once. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.